Hello, my name is Greg Hunter. I'm a sound engineer. I made a few records back in the day. And today, I'd like to talk to you about Ripex, which is a digital audio workstation with a few differences. Most doors display the audio waveform in the time domain, but Ripex displays audio in pitch space. In the centre of the screen is this icon, which is asking you to load an audio file. You can load any type of audio file into Ripex, like an MP3 or a YouTube video. The program will ask you whether it's a single instrument like a guitar, or whether it's a mixture of multiple instruments, like a typical song. If you select multiple instrument source, the software will separate out the voice and all the instruments in the piece of music. Once the software has analysed the audio file, it converts it into pitch space and displays the notes that each instrument is playing. You can edit the audio and process the sounds using built-in effects. Process, process the, the sounds, sounds using, using built-in built effects. effects. To change the pitch of a note, simply grab it and move it up or down, or down, or down. To change the time position of a note, grab it and move it left or right, move it left or right. To change the length, Click on the start or the end of a note and drag it left or right. To copy a note, hold down command and then grab a note and move it to a new position. New position. Good for making harmonies on vocals. To duplicate a note or a bunch of notes, use command D. Command D. Use command D. You can zoom in and out on the horizontal scale by using this magnifying glass at the top and moving it left and right. You can zoom in and out on the vertical scale by using this magnifying glass in the keyboard on the left and moving it up and down. At the bottom of the screen, it shows the spectrogram of the unpitched audio under the lowest key of the keyboard. You can select all of the unpitched components from the edit menu at the top of the screen. You can also select all of the pitch components only as well. To cycle the sequencer, Use the mouse to draw a blue rubber band at the top of the window here. If you right click in the window, it brings up the tools menu. You can also use the numbers on the keyboard to quickly access these tools. Tool 1 is the move resize tool, which you can use to change the pitch and length and position of notes. Tool 2 shows the spectrogram of the unpitched audio. Tool 3 is the Draw Sound tool, which can be used to create notes using the internal library of sounds, or using your own sounds. Tool 4 is the knife, which you can use to split notes and make micro edits. and make micro edits. Tool 5 is the join tool, which glues notes together. Tool 6 is the replace sound tool, which replaces a note using a sound from the internal or user library. Which replaces a note using a sound from the internal or user library. Tool 7 is the clone tool, which is used for cloning pitch changes and or timbre changes from one note to another. You need to command click on one note first before clicking and drawing the pitch timbre on another note. Command before no, one note funneling the pitch timbre on another note. Tool 8 is the paintbrush, which you can use to draw pitches straight onto a note. One note. Tool 9 is the apply pattern tool, which puts a sine wave vibrato on notes. Tool 0 is the smooth tool which you can use to smooth out sine wave vibrato on notes. Which you can use to smooth out sine wave vibrato on notes. If you alt right click, it opens a menu which gives you some options for processing the audio. You can also access this menu from the drop down box at the top of the screen. To change the volume, first select the notes you want to change and use this slider to adjust the volume up and down. 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 You can also adjust the stereo panning 
and the low-pass and high-pass filters for each note or group. Below these you have some functions which affect the pitch of the notes, where you can quantize the pitch to a scale. You select the scale in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, select the key of the track, and then using pitch to scale, you can retune an instrument or a voice to a new scale. You can also quantize the pitch to get the classic auto-tune share effect. And you can flatten the pitch to monotonize the voice. Vibrato applies a chorus effect to the sound. Slide pitch ramps the pitch of a note either up or down by a number of semitones. Shift formant moves the formants up and down by a number of semitones. Harmony creates another voice above or below the note of fixed intervals. You can add reverb and delay to each sound or group of sounds. Using reverse, you can adjust the up directions. Randomize throws the dice and creates random values for all the parameters. At the top of the screen in the center are some spectral effects you can use to clean up sounds. And at the top right of the screen, there are some more spectral effects. And you can also adjust the tempo here. I think Ripex is a good fun sequencer and great value for money. It's great for DJs and remixers to rip the vocals out of old tracks and make something new. Ripex is also a great tool for educators. You can get a track up and running in a few minutes, so it's got a very instant appeal for students. Ripex can also be used to teach music theory and core DSP, and because of the cheap price tag, I think it's a great tool for educators to consider. It's also a great sequencer for creating electroacoustic music and experimental sound design. You can make a great track from start to finish using only Ripex and get a professional result.